Jan, and it's October 6, 2020. Um, I hope that you're all making your plans to vote because voting is so, so important this year. And I hope you find a way to get past all the obstacles that may come between us and casting our votes as American citizens. Um, today, I'm going to do a quick intro because I have a couple of films I want to show to you. This is my tie-dye sweatshirt that my sweet little Beckham and his mom Lori, and also my editor, made for me. Isn't it fabulous? Also, this video that I'm going to show you shows Beckham in his journey to grow up to be four years old. Wow! I can't believe it. He's doing so well. Uh, also, you get to see Milo, who's coming up on a year and a half, and quite a little package he is. I keep looking at these kids and thinking about my blessed mother, Lorreen Light Buttram, who taught first grade at DeKalb, High, uh, DeKalb Public Schools, and she stayed out on the playground until she was past 65. And I just think about her out there every day with playground beauty, thinking, oh my golly, what a staunch woman she was. And I miss her every day. Uh, also, I wanted to remind you about wearing masks. I don't have one with me right now. I would do a show and tell, but pretend I'm putting on a mask. So important. Let's all live to the election and be able to get there. Um, I want to tell show you this film about Beckham, but also my friend Guy, I continue to follow his journey in Central Park, and this title of this one is called Guy and the New Step. So I hope you enjoy it both. Listen, I'm up to 50 subscribers, so I'm hoping that you'll subscribe and like my vlog. Um, 50! Whoa-ho! That's a coup. That's a coup. I think I'm building. I really do. So subscribe and like, and I will see you on the other side. God bless. Uh -huh. If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea, I'll sail the world to find you. If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see I'll be the light to guide you Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need You can't count on me like one, two, three I'll be there and I know when I need it, I can count on you Like four, three, two, and you'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah you really mean to me every day I will remind you oh find out what we're made of when we are called to help our friends in need this is a place where I came maybe in the winter time with the just randomly I come out here and 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 notice oh look at the dogs are coming down at see she came down at, good yeah, great. <laughs> uh, so, but I noticed they didn't have the last two stairs. You couldn't get up the stairway. It's a river of just broken branches and stuff. So, but the last two stairs uh, weren't there. This rock was like sort of up in there thrown. So I just brought that rock down here and sort of put it in here and planted it, got some sticks and got some extra soil and, you know, pounded it around underneath it and made it so you could step on it, wouldn't go out of place. And then this rock 
was way over there. So I thought, oh, that'd be a good step. And I rolled it over here, carried it over here, and sort of gouged it into with my stick and made it sort of secure. So then you can actually go one, two, three, four, and climb on up the hill. And then when you come back down, <laughs> so anyway, here I was out like a, the little step master. Nobody knew exactly what I was doing. It's kind of fun. Uh, and then you would go all the way up. And then, of course, here's a bunch of kids in the back of us. But uh, what all, also bothered me was like broken glass it was everywhere. It was like a sea of broken glass all the way down here. Look at this. So I started picking up broken glass calling it like, a, um, you know, just gazillion pieces, just like a beach of broken glass. And how many kids want to step on it, you know, protecting their little feet and their hands and stuff. So I really, after the rain, you think you've done something good. You think you've, you know, you've cleaned up many, many pieces, and then it rains, you come back, it's like the same thing. Like it's target practice. They throw their bottles. I think it's decades, really decades of, you know, broken pieces of glass are huge. Uh, and other stuff, you know, just picking up whatever it is. That, that was a big river right here when the water comes it just would flow. Now people can actually be here and have a good time, at least to me, because they're not, I picked up some broken glass so they're safe. <laughs> That's about it. And all the way around in here, every time you come by, there's more. Endless amounts. Yep, just endless amounts of it. And I, you know, just put it usually in a bag that sometimes I have a little bag in my back pocket, you know. And I have a little distribute, little place to find it. People don't know if there's uh, caps. And sometimes I feel like I'm a, I'm a decapitator. I take the caps put them in my bags, or I'm a declassification person, deglassifying, taking out the broken glass. Uh, so look at, see they're all like having one time on this big rock that overlooks the, the, the lake. Sometimes it's really, you get to talking to yourself so much about what you're doing, why should you do that? And then reminds me of a friend of mine's father said, oh, that's okay, you can talk to yourself. You might learn something. <laughs> but hey, it's beautiful. You wanna go up the, go up the stairs? So it's a little bit rugged still, but at least they stayed in there. So that's like nine months that they've been in here that nobody really hurt them or anything. It's a beautiful view up here. And the police horses are going by. You can't probably see them there behind the tree there. You can hear them. It's a, there's a kind of big roots in front of you. It's a river though, when the water, when it rains, it's just amazingly how new pieces of broken glass just appear from the water washing down. It's like, I'm, maybe I was a, a prospector, you know, in another life, I was like, <laughs> I was gonna look for, broken glass or something, fossils. 
Growing up, I used to love to be a uh, looked, loved to get arrowheads, find arrowheads and fossils on the riverbanks at home. So I'd always be looking in freshly plowed fields for arrowheads or tomahawks. I had a lot of them, or fossils. I, lot, I had a lot of fossils too. So here, only once did I find an arrowhead in Central Park, and I tried to take it to the Smithsonian Institute down there, and they said. No, we can't. We don't have time to look at that. You're going to have to go to Sotheby's. Sotheby's? What? To see if it's original, an arrowhead. I found it up by the Bow Bridge in the wintertime. The snow had just melted away. And I went, what is that? And it was an arrowhead, a perfect arrowhead. So the Indians were here too. You know, so I, I pay homage to Shoshone. <laughs> So I was just here the other day, so it's really kind of cleaned up. It's uh, amazing that you feel like you can uh, get some, what is the word, uh, affirmation of it, that you did a good job, that you don't see it anymore. Their food, their cans, their stuff, it's like, if you clean it up a little bit, it'll be less likely that they put all their junk around, you know. It's my idea. I don't know. I'm just uh, idly trying to do something good for the world in this park <laughs> that I love. Oh, it's my own backyard is how I feel. Yeah, that's it too. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. And there I go. I say thank you uh, to uh, dear almighty God beyond. Thank you, dear almighty God within. Thank you, dear Almighty God, between. You know, all those things, and I say my prayers up here. Hopefully we can get through this world and have fun and... We're back. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I love watching those videos, and I love making them. We have a great time out in Central Park. I have more coming up. Now, I got my mask, and I just wanted to put it on It's Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Starry Night. I'm so proud of it. I love wearing it and the kids love it. So find your favorite topic, make a mask out of it. I could find one that says vote, but I don't have one yet. Maybe I'll get one soon. Okay, I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful fall and stay healthy. Wash your hands, wear a mask, stay out of large crowds and vote. Okay, subscribe and like, and see you next time. Bye.